Hey guys, Super Cool Dave here. This is Human Resource Machine, Year 35, and I'll be showing you how to get both the size and the speed challenges completed. In this one, the challenges are use 17 or fewer commands and complete in 167 or fewer steps. What we have to do is grab letters from the inbox and output only one of each type of letter. So even though there's two Bs, we're only going to put one B, one A, then one E, and so forth. Um, so what we're going to do is this cell here where the zero is, we're going to use this to keep track of where we're going to place the new letter. So I'm just going to label this new letter. In this cell here, we're going to use this as our checkbox. So we're going to be counting down um, from whatever the last place we place one down and backwards to try and compare all the letters we've already found against whatever new letters we have. In cell 12, what we're going to do is just keep a copy of whatever letter it is that we're currently using. Now, the first thing is we're going to go to the inbox. We're going to out, uh, make a copy of it in the position of the new letter. So it's going to tell us to write it down in position 0. We are then going to outbox that number. Now we need to, because the reason we don't have to do any checks on the first number is there's nothing to check it against. So basically we're just writing it down and spitting it out. We are now going to make a copy of this number here, which is currently a zero. And we're going to copy it to the checking box. We're then going to go to the inbox and we're going to write this down into the letter box. So we should now have whatever the first letter is, a B. 0, 0, and the next letter, which is also a P. Now, after we've written down this letter, we should still be carrying our hands. So we're going to subtract it from the position that the check says, which is 0. Um, B minus B is going to output a 0, which means it's the same. So if we do the subtraction and it's the same, we want to jump up and we're going to grab a new letter basically. We're going to reset everything and grab a new letter and try again. However, if it's not the same, what we're actually going to do is bump down the checkbox and then we're going to copy from the letter box and then we're going to use the jump command and we're going to do the subtract and do this whole loop over and over again. So we're just going to keep bumping this down and go into the letter before it, letter before it, letter before it, and keep checking. Now, if any point when we bump down the check and it's a negative, it means we've run out of numbers to check. So we're going to use the jump. I'm going to jump right up to just underneath the inbox. Now, where the inbox is, you want to put a jump and skip where this is because we don't want to mess up the initial part of the code. Now, we've done that. What we're going to do is bump plus the fact that we found a new letter and we want to paste that new letter into the position one. So now we've bumped that to one, we're going to grab the letter and then it should copy it to the new location, which will be the one and outbox a copy of it as well. Now this is all you need to do to finish this level. So if I hit play, you should see everything roll out. So we're going to write down the B and we're going to output it. We're going to dupe this across. We're going to grab the next B, write it down, and start comparing. B minus B is 0, so it's the same. So we're going to reset our numbers and grab the next letter. We're going to write this A down. A minus B is different. So we're going to bump this down. We're going to see it's a negative. We can't go any further back. So in position 1, we're going to write the A, and we're also going to output it. Now we know we need to count backwards from position 1. So we're going to write down A, check position 1, it's not a match. Now we want to check position 0, and it's not a match. So we want to bump this up to position 2. We're going to grab the E, and we're going to write it down, and we're also going to output it. Now we're going to do the exact same thing for all of them. However, with the ones that find matches, it will be just thrown away. So they were a match, reset, and the E is a match, reset, the E is a match, reset. The A should be a match, so it's going to reset, and then it's going to find a C that's new. So it's checking against all of them, it's new. So in position 3, we're going to write the C down, and we're going to output it. Now we're going to grab the next C, it's going to be a match, 
So we're going to reset and we're finished. Now that the clipboard's come up, we can see for the 17 or fewer commands, we only use 16. And for the speed challenge, we only use 149 out of 167 steps. I hope you found this walkthrough helpful and thank you for watching.